Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be do doing <clears throat> a kind of a a background image. So it's the Wano Palace. This was requested on Patreon by just a person. So pretty complicated. I'm going to do my best. Um, there's a lot of detail in this. Um, I kind of simplify. I'm looking at the anime image and the manga image. So I try and sort of do bit of a combination of both right so landscape paper use a pencil and eraser definitely for this very a lot of detail fine details and things in this right so I guess we'll start with this sort of mound that's in the middle okay so it's like a mountain with the palace on top and then a big door down the front right so we'll just go up the side so I'll We'll just go up here, right? Starting at the bottom, and it's kind of, you know, bumping sort of line. And the tree will come out from it, but we'll just go around sort of the top here. Right, these sort of bumps. Doop. And then it'll go down here. Right, and at the bottom of these, we've got um, sort of cherry blossom sort of tree shapes, right? So you just... Pretty simple, sort of, just down here, okay? On either side. Just do cloud-like sort of shapes down here. Right, kind of like that, right? So then our palace is on top, okay? And there's waterfalls and stuff coming down. Maybe I'll just, I'll deal with what's down here first, right? So this door, right? So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's got this um, curving thing, <laughs> like the top of it or something here. And this will like go up and come back around. Right, kind of like that. And then it has like an extra sort of line on top here. And then this comes back for the roof just there. And then got these shapes on top right so these sort of golden gilded shapes on top basically they're done much simpler in the anime than they are in the manga so I'll, I'll just add what I can right so this kind of thing there like that okay and then we have another shape underneath so we go up and around again like so and then more gold sort of sections inside nice and one in the middle lots of sort of little details and stuff on these that I can't do with the sharpie really it's just right they're just gold sort of like that, right? And then we have sort of pillars coming down the side there. And another one coming down here. And these have gold on them as well. So there's like these bunched up kind of gold sections. that and then we have a line joining these together across here and then there's more sort of detail inside like golden lines like that and something else down here and then a line coming across the middle so 
coming across, say, here. Like a big beam or something coming across that way. And this has, like, more gold as well inside. Some more gold or something inside here as well. So you just add these sort of shapes and dots and things. So then this beam will come down. Let's just curve it down this way. It kind of gets wider as it goes down. So it kind of flicks out, right? And this one as well. Like that. And then there's a door inside here. So there's the top of the door, another line here, and then the middle, like so. And then there's like squares here. More gold and sort of lettering and stuff. Like that and these sorts of shapes on the door. <laughs> Extra details and stuff around if you want. Like so, and then, so then on the mountain, there's waterfalls and there's, oh, there's actually two more extra buildings here, sorry. Like the roofs just here beside the trees. Before we move on. Right, so these are like roofs and stuff like that. And there's like tile on them as well. So, you know, just these sorts of diagonal lines to show tile. And then beams sort of holding up the roof just here. And these go down to the ground all the way down, so, like that. Right, so then those waterfall shapes coming down around here, going in behind the palace, going in behind here as well. Mm, now, if I go too fast, remember, to hit your pause button because this is quite detailed. So, and then like on it, there can be all these sort of texture lines and circles and stuff just to show that it's kind of rocky and stony and now it's covered. I won't do like all of them. We'll just add a little bit. You can add kind of as much of this as you want. Right. right, that kind of thing, okay? So, okay, now the hard part. <laughs> well, so, I guess we'll do that big tree, right? So this kind of thing curves out around, right? And it's gonna go up around, big tree, right? And there's branches and things that come out of it, but we'll just get the main shape going out that way. It's like a big hook, right? And it goes all the way down. And it ends with one sort of tree, sort of bumped kind of line, right? And then like this tree, I don't know what type of tree it is. I imagine it's a cherry blossom, but that's just because, you know, it's a typical Japanese probably tree. And then there's like all these branches and things that come out down here. Back up and there's texture lines and things that follow the growth pattern. 
right? And this comes up around again. So you'll go, it can be a little bit bumpy. I think there's another, there's another couple of branches that come out, but we'll just get the main shape in first, right? And it goes in behind the palace that's in here. But we'll just do more branches, right? So, so let's say at the top. So there's like a collection of clusters of leaves. It's the only way I can kind of describe it, right? So you do this sort of cloud-like stuff. And, you know, trees move in different ways and, you know, there's lots of different ways you can um, actually draw this in. I'll just copy what I can see. But don't feel too bad if yours aren't exactly the same as mine. They don't have to be exactly the same. I'm not making mine exactly the same as the original. I'm just getting a feel for the shapes. Right, so right, so that's the kind of setup we have, and then inside here there's another layer. So comes around. Branches then that go in, in in underneath, right? So branch that kind of grows off here. And you just draw sort of these little branches in as best you can now and like shadows see like this where I'm coloring black that'll sort of help distinguish where is sort of tree branch and what isn't and all these little texture lines and stuff on it and if you go over any lines for the tree the original lines you can just erase them right so where they connect say like here This way it goes in behind the actual tree as well. And another one here. And this one comes out up this way. And then more tree branches and stuff in under here. So I'll just add some shadows like this and it'll make it look kind of like tree branches. See? And then I'll just erase some lines where they connect. Right, then we got another one in behind and then one in front. So we've another one, say here. Put it here, why not? shadows and then another one here so we'll go
there's like a branch that sticks off this way and goes in underneath, right? So just this sort of. we shouldn't see right so there's all um, texture and stuff all over this like kind of like um, the sort of stony hill as well right so there's like these types of things going up around lines like this that just go around like so and then there's some like circles and stuff right kind of ovals and small big ones different sizes right Okay, so now the main palace, right? So it's got three sections. So three roofs and yeah, and three walls. So we'll start at the bottom and build up. Huh? That's what you're supposed to do anyway. So we go diagonal out here. So it's like sitting on top of the tree sort of section, right? So we'll go across. Out like that, right? And then we'll just bring this line across here, right, like so. So let's go with up and then up here. So this is like the base of it. Bring it across like that, and then there's these sort of balls or. Something. Right, and each of these has a, it's like a balcony. Okay, and then we'll, I'm gonna get my ruler, I think. Just gonna straighten this line up, maybe. And then there's a line that comes across that joins all these together. And then another. Just below. So then the side of the building then will come, say, up here. And it's kind of curved there. And then it meets the next roof, which sort of 
How far out does it go? So we'll go. Let's see, so it kind of got it's got this bumpy bottom to it, right? So it kind of. I think there's squares in the manga, but they're curved in the anime, so it's easier. The anime version is easier, so I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Sorry now if that's annoying, but we're just gonna add these curved lines. Do you know if the option is there to make it easier? Always take it. Well, not always, but you know. This is like the roof, and then this comes down across the front, back up the other side to there. And then this roof will sort of curve itself back up to here and down like this. And then this, the next part of the building will come out from that as well. So like say, next part of the next level is like here. comes out to there and just comes down like so do, 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 do. right and then there's these two triangles like here right so another level to the roof up down up down and then it like comes across here there's like some windows or something one two two and then sets of windows like here I won't do them all because it would take way too long. But basically sketch them in like that's enough. And then bottom of this building here comes across like that. And then we do the roof, same roof system again, twice more, right? So Okay, uh, yeah, so. Right, so this kind of thing, and then it comes, it'll go across. Like that. You can add some windows in here as well. And again, tiles, you know, these sorts of lines and things. Just a little bit of perspective to them so they kind of like curve, you know, out that way. Oops, sorry. All right, and then we go again. So we go up to there. roof line and then the start of the next building start of the next part of the roof up there and then we have another triangle in the middle and like th these triangles can have circles on them if you were copying completely from the manga like there can be circles in this sort of gap like in here but it's it's optional and then more windows there building here a bit of perspective on the roof like that and right then we go again so we do more of this bumping sort of stuff coming across here but it actually this time when we get to here it kind of just curves around 
like that, which is much easier. Right, like so, and then a couple of windows. Like so. Uh, right, so. Yeah, and then again, this comes across, comes up around, across to here. And then the bottom end of the roof on the other side there. And then we go up to the top. So it kind of sticks up, up to here, it sticks up a bit further, I'd say. there and then we have this line that comes across the front and then a couple of perspective sort of lines just for the direction of the tiles on the roof and then we have I think it's like dolphins or fish but it's just like the general shape you know dolphins or fish on top you know, so you can add as much detail to that as you want, really. And then there's like a line that comes across underneath here. And then another dolphin slash fish shape. up like that okay so right so then there is that is that the I think I got the whole lot okay we'll go down again right there's more stuff down here so we've got like two bridges that come out right so down like that so one on that side one on this side Right, and then the top. Where does that go? Kind of disappears, does it? No. Well, well, we'll just go the whole way down, okay? And then like that. And then there's like these balls on top. I think they're kind of like those that sort of thing, but they seem to be more circular on this. Or you could do them like the flames. I'm gonna put another one here. Doop, doop. Should that be higher up? Skinnier. Ah, we'll just go with it. Go with it. See what happens. Right, and then there's your shadow. Underneath it there. Another one. Coming around like so. And then these have lines on them like that. And then there should be, so like the same on this side. Like that may be like another, like it's like a banister, so. We'll just go across that again. Boop. Right. Right, and then under here, they're being held up by sort of stilts or something, like big pillars. Do they go? They're, they're like inside. Some of them are inside it. Right, so... small one here right, so any lines on the inside you can just erase so if they're connected to them you just erase the inside lines here
Okay. Um, and then the, there's another set of like pillar things. <laughs> Um, they're like, are they doors or something on this side? So I'm not really sure, but we'll, we'll go for it, right? So you'll just start up this way, right? And it comes along here. And this goes up like so, up to there. And we go across. down Boop, down to there and then around in here like so and then this goes down that way and then the pillar continues kind of up this way should be wider that was a mistake so it should be like connected kind of to this one right, so we'll kind of bring it up this way it goes across like that right and then this goes up here So, and then we go up to there. Cross, and then kind of curve it down this way. Just give it a sort of an edge, maybe. Something like that. And then we'll go up here, cross, down. Curves all the way down to here back up into there kind of like that and then we do something similar on the other side okay so big pillar here big pillar here and this is like joined with a curve on top So it comes out this way. I'm trying to figure this out myself now. Comes across, then down there, down to here. Comes across to there. Then we have like another pillar here. Pillar in there. This. sort of thing so comes around there up across up all right that's what we got so far hope this is helping someone out there I know it's really complicated and this comes down this way just kind of copy what's over here. And then this. That, and then bring that that way. And then there's like another big curvy thing on top again. So, um, goes up to there, comes across, curve it down. So it's in perspective. So it gets like skinnier as it goes down this way. Up, down, then around into there. Like so. Okay, so what do we got left? There's like clouds and mountains and all this kind of stuff, so Let's see. So there's another tree that comes off there's, and another waterfall. So 
So I can have the waterfall that comes off this way, right? Kind of comes down here. Something else coming down this way, right? And then a tree comes out behind, so like a branch of the tree. similar to the rest and it grows out from the side of the mountain and goes up in underneath. You can add some just some branches. Like that with some texture. So, and then there's like a big, there's a big mountain over here. So, starts at this tree. So we'll go up this way. Comes out the other side. Up here, how far? So it doesn't go higher than, no, it's about the, this height. So, and then it has three peaks. One, two, three. And then it'll go down just above this place. So like, Curves down here. And it's got like snow. And then like obscured by, say like a, cl a cloud, the bottom of it sort of goes around. Like so, and there's lots of these clouds and stuff coming around all these. So I'm just, you know, all this kind of stuff. And some like down here, just these sort of big clouding sort of lines and, and lots of debris and, and stuff. So like you can do as much of this cloud stuff now as you want. So it's kind of up to you. Comes behind the mountain maybe. around here you know, across that way and there's lots of like stuff in the air and debris and maybe like a rock here at the front you know in the corner maybe on this side as well um, and like a big cloud at the back so lots of different ways of doing clouds now you don't have to sort of do it the exact same way as mine, but they generally just be like these stringy sort of and then leaves and stuff in the air. rocks and stuff like that and and let's say I put another big sort of cloud here and lots of these leaves cherry blossom leaves in the air. And then dots as they get smaller. And I think there's another mountain there and that's sort of, you can add that if you want. I won't because I'm way over time, so lines coming down the mountain um, but that's it that's how to draw the one old palace hope was helpful thanks for the request just a person on patreon anyone else has specific requests like this head over sign up if you can afford it thanks for watching see you in the next one bye